day two on the breathe and li live well. It's made that up, but it's nice. Breathe and live well. Yesterday we talked about uh, square breathing and how it's really a tool to be able to have a, a wonderful life, to be happy, fulfilled, and whole. It's not that the breathing creates that, but it reveals that that life is already available for you. It's just underneath all the thoughts that we have that make us miserable, whether it's thoughts of anxiety about uh, money or how things are gonna get taken care of, uh, like I talked about, and flip myself on myself or uh, thoughts on health um, and if you're going to be okay or thoughts on relationships or uh, shoot I don't know what the other major character uh, categories of life are but it comes down to when we're miserable the misery comes from thoughts misery is a mind thing misery can only exist in the mind pain can be physical but when you're miserable about your pain, it's because you're thinking about how this pain, I tore a tendon in my thumb here, and I get really frustrated sometimes because I'm thinking about all the rehab and possible surgery and all this stuff that I'm gonna have to have in the future, where in any particular moment, I'm perfectly fine. I do most of my stuff typing, and I can type just, just great. Uh, but when I get too far in the future about what I'm gonna maybe have to do to recover fully, uh, I can easily get miserable and have jumped into that many times. So we'll go keep on going on the tool to access the beautiful life that you already have. And a very interesting thought. You already are whole and complete. You already uh, are happy. At least a portion of you has that capacity. And I say already is happy, already is whole, already is complete already needs nothing. That's wonderful. How do we access that part of us? Well, breathing, first step. So the four square breathing, uh, if we if you remember, four counts in, two, three, four, four count hold, four count out, one, two, three, four, and another four count hold on the bottom, and then that's one four uh, square breath. Uh, and do that as many times as you can throughout the day. What will happen is immediately your attention goes from whatever you're stressing about, making yourself miserable over, to the breath. And it becomes a benign focus. It becomes a friendly focus that you, so you can stop all the thoughts that make you miserable. So that's all that's happening there. So breathe. Uh, I would make a trigger. Maybe every time you touch a door handle, whether it's a the car or a door on a house or anywhere, maybe you could have that be your trigger to breathe. Maybe every time you just get in your car, uh, you're gonna do at least one round of square breathing, something like that. And it'll help keep you in the habit uh, of, of doing the breath. And then start to notice, start to notice what the difference is when you're doing the square breathing versus when you're stressing or, or suffering about something. Um, what is that difference? For me, I, I, I go inward. My attention goes from outside or up in my head where I, I'll live like right here with all these thoughts and this whole world, usually a stressful world that I'll create right in the forefront of my brain. And uh, when I do the breathing, I'll go inward and I'll go somewhere in here. My focus goes inward. Or I'll even go back here. It's, it's weird, it, it's, it's different. So what is it for you when you breathe, and then how does it feel? Uh, for me, it, it's a it's a it's a release. I get to release from the painful thoughts that I have about there's not going to be enough, or um, I'm not going to be enough, or I'm not going to get better, or you know, there my loved ones aren't going to be happy, or whatever it, whatever it is. When I stop those thoughts, my suffering stops about that, and I can go back in and pay attention to something else which is this wholeness that already re exists within me. So where am I gonna put my time? On these thoughts that make me suffer or on the wholeness that already resides within me? Uh, it's really a choice and to be honest, a lot of people don't wanna go within. It's not as exciting, it's not as adventurous, it's not as volatile, which are all things that people move towards. 
crazy enough, but it's actually very normal. So pay attention, square breathing. And then the next thing you can do, which I think we're going to go into more, is pay attention to what shows up for you because the world, the universe is conspiring for your benefit. It's conspiring for your growth. It's conspiring for your blessing, for your happiness, uh, to get what you wanted, to get what you came for, to what you came to be a human for. And so people are showing up with exactly what you need. So if that is true, after you center yourself with some square breathing, and you become have a different state of being after you breathe like that, then you can ask, how is this a blessing? How is this person that's aggravating me or, or antagonizing me or attacking me, how could this be a blessing? How is this situation that, uh, you know, I'm losing my money or I'm losing my health or I'm losing my security or I'm losing my uh, romance or my um, affection or whatever matters most to you that you think you're losing, how is this experience a blessing to me? And I don't know what that answer is. Uh, for me though, I've been seeing all the things that I think I'm losing, or at least the possibility of losing, was really my attachment to it. I'm seeing all these things that I'm attached to. And the more I attach to anything, good or bad, the more it brings me suffering. So I can be super rich, but be attached to my money and really have no, uh, you wouldn't think I'd be attached to money or, or be miserable about money if I was in that situation. But you can, you can easily be rich and attached and miserable because now you're focused on not losing your money or someone taking your money or uh, all, all these things that come with attachment to anything. And so it's not the having or not having anything that makes you happy. It is being happy that makes you happy. And what does it take to be happy? Well, it's just to re go within and see that you're already happy, you're already whole. How do you do that? Well, infinite ways. One of the ways, square breathing. Go within, focus on your breath, pay attention. And then how could the thing that's coming to me right now, person or thing, be my friend and be here to teach me? good start.